Hey everyone, welcome to Hegan Iruthil and let's take a look at uh, Screamer's kit. The question here is, is she good enough? Because in 8 days, you'll be able to um, reset her kit just in case that you don't, you know, you don't uh, want to have her. I actually can't reset um, Screamer. This is with my um, Vanguard account. So that 14 day has passed for us. So more or less, I get to keep Screamer at this point and um, probably show you guys at this point. I'm going to say it out that she can be used really. She's not really a, a full time healer. She has a lot to her kit. You can use her uh, beside the healer and with her in the back. Or you could use her as somebody who can buff and plus a lot of heals on the side. So let's, let's take a look at what she can do. So we'll start off with her skills. Basic attack is, of course, just your basic attack then you have your passive here so for her passive no key to speaker recharge no key one energy one time every 15 seconds this one when she consumes it is to enhance her her healing of all allies by 82 to 96 percent so then definitely she is going to have healing whether you're gonna use her as a as as more of a healer or a more balanced a do it trick so what i'm saying balance is she has healing then for her active skill you have a couple of choices here this one applies a burning effect a burn unit takes continuous damage over 10 seconds this is actually um more of an offensive uh type of buff so and the target recover one self energy so this one is for burn however the other one if you switch your active skill so screamer plays exciting rock music this one is going to give healing so granting brisk flow to an ally for seven seconds and healing the ally and nearby allies by 285 plus and 550 plus uh, in terms of AP. Noki the speaker can intensify the sound waves, granting 40% bonus healing effect. The brisk low is attack speed is increased by 10 by 30%, which is actually a lot. So the brisk low is actually applied to all allies, which um, incorporates uh, AD and AP allies. So this one, the healing here, is accompanied by a attack speed bonus so this is what i mean about you know you're not only getting healing but you're also getting other buffs that she can provide this one is just purely um damage so deal damage and burn effect so if you want to continue on her kit giving healing so use the passive use this one ignite your spark and the ultimate guys is this one gives AD, a bonus AD to all allies within a circular area applying deterrent high to enemies within. So bonus AD, AD is usually applied to your uh, ranger, your guardian, your assassin, and your hoplite. So those are your AD allies. She can give them a buff 26 to 28%. And she also has silence she actually gives silence to enemies within a circular area so both skills have buffs and have debuffs so this one is a buff to allies and a debuff to enemies this one is um this one is healing uh th this one is purely buff healing and a buff this one is buff and debuff purely for control this one is a buff and damage. So again, you have a lot of options in building her. If you, a stage that you are into doesn't require a lot of healing, 
then go for screamer definitely there are some stages that you can live without a healer but you you'd, you'd appreciate more of the buffs and the debuffs again i don't see it being impossible that you use both screamer and another healer just in case you want a dedicated healer on your roster so let's move to her awaken tree here so this one is for healing this one is for energy refund this one that i uh, recently just uh, opened this silences target for three seconds this is also good if you want to swap to this one this is giving a healing effect increased by 20 percent so it's really up to you if you want to increase her more you know all around features and this one is for her healing effect but as you go down the tree when in the battlefield increase attack speed by 15 so also a nice buff to have so sh again it's either a buff or a healing effect so this one is also healing effect this one is another buff and this one is a debuff so you can really mix and match on how you're gonna be building her moving forward plus she is easier to get because she is sr so you'll have um uh, more opportunities to get more copies of her they're more easier to build and easier to take to six star so healing effect for this one and this one is charge charging time is six seconds so the passive super naoki instead of 15 it's going to be six so which is also very beneficial because this one if the charging time is six then healing also increases okay so again it, with her you have a lot of you know choices whether to build her as a more of a healer less of a all-around buffer and debuffer so it's really a choice you can mix and match what you what you you know you intend to use her on but for me what i did was again as you can see here healing this one is bonus and uh, this one is silence this one is buffs i chose the buffs i didn't choose the damage because ultimately you'll have a lot of damage dealers on your team so you won't need damage from her so take number five and so far for the awakened tree what i did for phase three i got the silence for more shenanigans if you might say so this is how i built her i plan to use her in some of the you know other stages that i'm bringing in it's just now that i have gotten to take her to you know other levels and as you can see the place that i have for her although it's her in the picture but again these are not suitable for her um the three the the three set actually kicks in once she's defeated but you don't want that so this is just a temporary play um you know if you want me to build a build guide for streamer comment down in the comment section and we'll see if you guys need a build guide for her but for now i'm going to try to use these plays as soon as i farm more which is appropriate for her i'll equip that to her as well so that is it guys so anyway uh, comment down if uh, you think screamer is worth it um to use even after the reset by the way um i will say that she is really worth it to use even if she's sr i don't think that uh, i don't think that there's a problem with using srs in this game they're easier to level up as a, not to level up they're easier to get copies of so try to more or less maximize your streamer especially if you guys are with me in vanguard in which we cannot we can no longer reset our characters but again it's really up to you still have eight days to experiment with her try to experiment with her in terms of building her and more or less before the eighth day the, the the 14 days are up you could probably reset her if you don't want but for me i will really try to you know so far she, she's very versatile and very useful 
and um, I don't really mind having another healer. Not really a full-time healer, but gives me a, you know, other other varieties in terms of effects, buffs and debuffs, and so on and so forth. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.